can't believe they actually added this to the game. This is ridiculous. I love it. I didn't kill him. Oh my. Someone does have the Tech 9 in this game. If I get the chance to pick it up. Oh, here it is. Oh, that is not what I was expecting for a Tech 9 at all. Alright, yo guys, what's going on? It's Rage, and welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 22 for Season 3 Reloaded. So here for Season 3 Reloaded, we got uh, two new guns in the game. We have uh, two new pistols to unlock. We have the Tech 9 otherwise known as the F-Tac Siege. We got the GS Magna, a full-auto Desert Eagle. The idea of this sounds completely psychotic, but you know what? I'm on board with it. Let's do it. Also, if you guys didn't already notice this, I didn't even see this in the patch notes, but they updated the uh, Mastery camo from last season. They updated the Bowing Blossoms camo, so now all of the... Uh, cherry blossoms on in our reactive that looks really pretty i actually like that a lot i don't think they changed anything as far as like sniper balance or anything like that goes i know they updated one of the stocks for the intervention but that's about it uh got some new ui updates here in the create a class menu now there actually was one thing in the patch notes i want to go ahead and mention this real quick i was going to make a video on this and i think scope just did the other day i'll go ahead and play the clip for you guys but basically what the glitch was was you were able to overwrite a custom mod on a weapon like say for example on the intervention you have more than two scopes you would save a custom mod with one scope then you would put another new scope on it overwrite that custom mod the game would then register as having two scopes on the weapon at once and it would just break the ads animations and i was gonna make a video on it i saw that uh face scope made a video on it but they already patched it so i'm kind of sad about that i'm also guessing at some point we're gonna have a crash bandicoot crossover because we got this uh free gift item in the shop so okay that's cool now also here with season three reloaded we have a trophy hunt event camo to do so again like last season with the bowing blossoms we got one for the trophy hunt and they changed up all of the challenges so we're not just getting like 50 headshots with everything anymore now it's all locked so i don't get a preview of it but uh i don't know i'll probably have that ready for the next video also got a new map alboran hatchery which is the area from recon by fire in the campaign fantastic mission by the way 3v3 face-off returns i hope at one point in time they turn it into 6v6 face-off like we had in cold war because that was one of the best things about that multiplayer got some gunfight stuff giant infection on the ground war maps that actually kind of sounds like fun and i can't believe it they actually kept 10v10 in shipment 20 four seven in the game again i'm pretty sure since season three reloaded or at least the week after when they did the playlist update they've kept these two in the game which is amazing like these need to be the staple playlists to be fair though on the 10v10 side of things i do wish we had map voting and mode voting i wish they would have all of the maps in there because it really does seem i'm only playing like a handful of them in 10v10 just why not add every map to 10v10 the chaos is what makes it fun but uh because i want to go ahead and get access to the uh, tech nine and the full auto desert eagle we're gonna go ahead and jump into shipment here so to get both of the weapons for the tech nine you have to get 50 hit fire kills using handguns which won't take very long at all and 30 headshots with the desert eagle to get the full auto deagle and again seriously thank you infinity war thank you for keeping shipment in the game because we're gonna be able to fly through this i really can't stress this enough i love having these updates in certain things in the game like camos new weapons be locked behind challenges and like simple challenges not like not something ridiculous where we have to go get 500 million mounting kills or something like that just something that you can casually work on while playing the game also i will say i do do like this new uh, UI update right here because as someone who feels the need to switch to their support class all the time, I really like being able to click it and not just scroll to it. So thank you for that. Oh yeah, everyone's here just getting hip fire kills with the Desert Eagle. You know, that's actually probably the best way I should have gone about this because I can get the hip fire kills while also trying to get headshots with the Deagle. You know, I should probably just switch to that. I'll style Chopper Gunner. Why are you the way that you are? Please stop using lethal kill streaks on shipment. I'm just gonna shoot it down. Get it out of here. Nah. Just, nah. They also had a Harrier and an AC-130 coming in. Nah, I'm good. Goodbye. Yeah, shipment 24-7 here over the next couple of days is going to be absolutely psychotic. Oh my god. It's going to get really, really bad, especially with everyone using RPGs. I mean, it's it's shipment 24-7. This is the kind of thing that we come to expect from it. I mean, everyone's here to complete challenges. Nothing else. Someone does have the Tech 9 in this game. If I get the chance to pick it up... Oh, here it is. Oh, that is not what I was expecting for a Tech 9 at all. That's got a ridiculous rate of fire on it. Oh my god. I feel like maybe I'm too used to Cold War or maybe even CSGO for that matter because I, I was not expecting that at all. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion that the full auto deagle is going to be like that? Wait, what is that? Yo, that headshot? What? I just noticed that. That Yeah, that like little pop-up in the center of the screen. That's new. I don't really know how I feel about it, but I mean, all right. And there it is, 30 headshots completed. I also really like that update too, that new UI update showing like what camo you got. I feel like that's definitely something we should have had on launch of the game. It just looks really good. I like it. 
Oh, there it is. There's the full auto deagle. I still need a good amount of hip fire kills with this thing, but I, I want to see what this is all about. Oh my god. I can't believe they actually added this to the game. This is ridiculous. I love it. I'm starting to think about it now. I mean, there's only 10 weapon levels with this thing, apparently, but I'm imagining someone running around with, like, Akembo Desert Eagles like this. Full auto Akembo Eagles just sounds like something that's so ridiculous that you'd expect in, like, the original MW2. I mean, I'm not complaining about it, though. This thing's kind of sick. The VTOL. Bro. Yeah, no, that's the only downside. Without a magazine attachment on it, it's only seven rounds, so yeah, you burn ammo very quickly. And when you're someone like me who misses all their shots, you get embarrassed like that. I feel like I briefly mentioned it earlier, but I was a little worried about how they were gonna handle the Tech 9 in this game, mostly because I have slight PTSD from the way they handled it in Cold War. That in the EM2. It was season five of Cold War, right, where the EM2 and the Tech 9 both felt like it went on so long without either of them getting nerfed. Okay, I only need 25 more hipfire kills. Again, I know I hold a very unpopular opinion of actually loving Cold War, but yeah, that, that was one of the things about the game that I really did not like. Even still to this day when I play Cold War, I feel like I still run into a good amount of people using the Tech 9 I mean, especially the EM2. I didn't kill him. Oh my. This thing really is a whole lot of fun to use. I just don't know how much I'll be unironically using this thing outside of like getting the weapon charm for it. There we go. Unlock the Tech 9. Cool. All right. So we got a Tech 9. It's basically a pocket SMG. I didn't realize it had 32 rounds in the mag. Oh, this thing's going to be disgusting. Definitely curious as to how much damage each bullet does when it connects at a certain distance. So running extended mags on this thing seems like it's going to be a necessity, but it pretty much is a pocket SMG. Even though I haven't played Warzone in what feels like forever, I feel like this is going to be a really, really good secondary option for finishes. Or if you're able to get up super close and personal with it, then yeah, absolutely. This thing does feel kind of nuts. I actually really like the feel of it. Real quick though, I do want to check out this new map, Alboran Hatchery. From the little Twitter preview that I saw, the map actually looked pretty massive, so I'm kind of curious to see how it's gonna play. I mean, actually, from the looks of it, it looks pretty small, but I feel like, yeah, we're gonna just be fighting in the buildings the whole time. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of Black Gold, like, off-rip. Something about, like, the map layout and design of it. There we go. I mean, honestly, it seems decently sized for a 6v6 map. And if you need long shots, hey, there you go. You can do that too. Now, I know I was definitely mentioning this at the start of the video, but when it comes to 10v10, I'm really hoping that this map is in it too. It feels like I'm playing the same five to six maps in 10v10, when in reality, I feel like every map in the game should be there. Even shipment. Yeah, now the only thing is, is uh, map control. I feel like you definitely don't want to have a flag captured. I mean, to be fair though, spawn trapping hasn't really been the same in Call of Duty for a very long time, so it may or may not be that big of a deal. Even if we were holding C and B, I still feel like the spawns are sporadic enough to where they would be spawning behind us. Like, spawn trapping, again, just hasn't really been the same. It doesn't really seem like it's a thing anymore. It's more of a matter of, can you catch them all when they're spawning in a new area before they flip to a new one? I also really do like having more multiplayer maps in the game that are kind of inspired from areas in the campaign. As someone who plays all the Call of Duty campaigns, as someone who's a massive campaign dork, I've always loved that. Because to me, I feel like it just makes, like, the world of the game feel more interconnected. Whereas, ridiculously dork, as that might sound. I mean, we think back to, like, the original All Gillied Up. All Gillied Up in one shot, one kill from COD 4, and then we have maps like Overgrown and Block. Plenty of different examples that I can think of, too, but you guys get the point, right? And honestly, though, again, like, the way that this is playing for 6v6 really isn't that bad. I just feel like it's also gonna play a lot better with 10v10, too. I mean, with the way that this domination match is playing, we're all just kind of, like, spawning everywhere all over the map. May as well make it more chaotic. Now, I also could be wrong, though. I mean, I haven't been queuing 10v10. I'm just hoping that this map is in 10v10. I mean, first match on this map didn't go over too badly. 42 kills. It's almost the same as Black Old, like I was just saying a second ago. I feel like this map also is gonna play really, really well in Hardpoint. Domination nowadays, again, just feels pretty hit or miss, just because, like, the spawn system doesn't really feel as uh, controlled. But on the real, though, I don't think this map is too bad. Definitely gonna play it more and give it more of a shot. Super happy that they kept 10v10 10 in the game, as well as shipment 24-7. I actually am kind of curious to try out Giant Infection. And again, I really am hoping that uh, 6v6 face-off returns. Just having more variety in the multiplayer like that is always a good thing. Cold War absolutely nailed it. I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into shipment so I can go ahead and finish the new Tech 9 as well as the new GS Magna. Go ahead, get these Orion, and also as well start working on this new seasonal camo challenge to complete. So on that note, that has been the Season 3 Reloaded update. Definitely love having these new seasonal camo challenges to complete. So again, with that being said, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts on Season 3 Reloaded are. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. It's Enrage, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.